So, finance, logistics, etc. These are the key tasks for you to get done for my presentation. And I just want you to have fun with these. Don't sweat it. Go mental. But then go sane again and check and recheck, because I'm going to be the guy up there pitching this stuff, OK? And how do you think we should be... Um, tube up his about? nose, tube up his nose. He's a man with a tube up his nose. And funding implications. Yep, just relax and take your time, OK? OK. Come in. <clears throat> OK, fine. Well, I guess it's just Gerard and me from here on in. Right, Gerard? Sorry? I said it's just you and me from here on in, right? Right, sorry. Sorry, I've got a, a mucus build-up in my ears, so... See you later, then. Cool. Cool, dude. Sit down. Clear your tubes. Cos you and me are gonna chow down on the biggest hairy motherfucking business shitstorm since Enron. OK, so we're gonna enter the alchemist study. We all know the risks. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. So what do you think about coming down doing some live action role play down Chislehurst sometime, boss? Well, I'm up for it if Dobby's up for it. Uh, but, Gerard, don't call me boss outside work. I, I don't like it. I very much do like it. What the hell are you doing in there? Jeremy said I needed a lie down. Oh, that was nice of him. Come on, let's get you home. I'll take you home. Oh, no, don't, don't take him home. He's fine. He's, he's just had a bit of a disco nap and now he's ready to partay, aren't you, Gerard? Are you all right to stand up on your own now? I think if, if you wouldn't mind just holding me for a bit. Oh, for God's sake. Could you call us a cab, please? We'll share. The same cab? But... But, but you live in Catford and, and Gerard lives in Ballam. That, that's miles apart. It, it's illogical to share. It's crazy. I want to make sure he's OK. Mm. Plus, late at night, minicabs. They're licensed, Gerard. Dobby is not about to get raped, if that's what you're trying so snidely to imply. So let's just cut the bullshit, shall we? It would be more fun going home together, though. Oh, right, now we get down to it. They're not going to have a better time going home than I'm having at my party. Hello. Yes, I'd like two cabs, please. I need two cabs, one going to Catford and one separate one going in a completely different direction to Ballop. Like that. And I can put a Scytheman here. What's that? No, it's just Scytheman attacking Roosevelt. I feel uneasy ab about the noises, Gerard. Anyway, would a Scytheman attack Roosevelt? He's a Cyberman, Mark. He's devoid of all human emotion, concerned only with the preservation of his own race. Of course he'd attack Roosevelt. <clears throat> oh, hi, Jess. Sorry to interrupt you playing, boys. We're not. We're just ar arranging our models with some noises. Anyway, what are you doing back from your new job so early? Fired already? I'm back so early because I have the coolest job in the world and Ben is the coolest boss in the world. I asked him when I should come in tomorrow and he said, whenever you can make it. His motto is, the work never starts. That's his motto? What's his annual turnover? Who gives a shit? We don't make money, money makes us. What does that even mean? It means I'm going to light up a fatty and crack open my brand new Xbox. Good luck with the regression session. Look, I'm sorry if in an infantilised world I've somehow ended up with the non-cool toys, but why exactly is arranging a model of the greatest liberal hero of the 20th century somehow less cool than pretending on a computer that you're a Russian pimp stealing imaginary cars? I don't know, dude. I don't make the rules. Enjoy playing soldiers and wanking over Dobby on Facebook. Oh, for God's sake, Jeremy, that's disgusting. Did you ever actually, uh... Well, you know, on occasion. Corfu 06? It's cool, man. I mean, I've never actually gone that far myself. But everything's cool in Dobby Club. Oh, we're the Dobby Club. Or the Dobby Ring. Can two people be a ring? <laughs> I hope me and you being an item doesn't ruin my friendship with Gerard. Me too. That that, that would be terrible. Ugh, the ghost at the feast. I'm going to kill you, Gerard. Kill you till you're dead. Al although that there is something that, that I should probably tell you. What? I don't really want to say. Go on, Mark. Well, y you know those Corfu pictures you you've got on your profile? I, I think maybe you should take those down. Corfu 06? Why? Well, D Gerard admitted that, that sometimes he, he he looks at them and does a... Oh! I know. Never pick a fight with Stalin, Gerard. Uncle Joe don't play by your rules. Hi, Dobbs. Thanks for coming over. Fine, yes, Gerard, but there's a sting in the Gerard tail, a scorpion in the kinder egg, a nail in the Toblerone, and tis I. Oh. Hi, Mark. Yes. 
We were about to have a romantic Italian dinner for two when you rang, so I thought I'd come along. Oh, great. Great, yeah, great. How are you doing, you big fox thick? Oh, I feel awful. Oh, that's not the spirit. Mind over matter. Your friend the Cyberman wouldn't be so defeatist, nor would any of your other brilliant dolls. I'll get you a pie on. Which do you want, grey matter pie or brown matter pie? Grey matter would be lovely, thank you. Mm. I know what you're doing, Gerard. What's that, Mark? Being quite ill. I've got my beady eye on you. You're barking up the wrong tree. She's not interested in romancing the stone, Gerard. It's no dice for you and your sickly ways. Yeah. We'll see about that. I'm playing the long game. <laughs> hey, great news. I got called back for a second interview at Bath's Bathrooms and Fittings. Congratulations. Gerard's dead. <laughs> what? He's dead. He died. When? Last night, a couple of hours after he called. Oh, Jesus. Fucking hell, Gerard. There was no need to die. God, I only disliked you a bit. I didn't want you to... Fuck. Oh, bloody hell. Things took a turn for the worse. He got taken to hospital, but it was too late. Blimey. What, what did he die of? Flu. He died of flu? Uh, hey, Jeremy. Gerard died of flu. Bullshit. Seriously? Bloody hell. That is so Gerard. I know. He had a weak immune system, Mark. Mm. He had a weak everything, to be fair, Dobbs. A third interview in I'm half an hour? Say no. Hugh won't, won't say no. Could I? Out in five? Cab over in twenty? Now, Gerard's close friend, Mark Corrigan. Yeah, Listerine in the cab, swill the backwash into my Volvic, spurt of links, it's the busy man's shower. OK, the edit. The brutal edit. Um, OK, hi. So, there's... There's so much to say uh, about Gerard. That can all go. That goes. In a way, whatever I say will end up feeling incomplete. Cover myself there. So why don't I just sum up? My, my first day, I thought, what a great guy. I, I liked him as, as soon as I met him. This is going to take forever. Yes, I, I mean, why don't I just give you the, the stories, the highlights, Aberdeen, the, the Finnamore numbers, tube up the nose. But so... Noble. World of Warcraft, huge for him, JLB, obviously, which I think Alan hit. Sum up. Time to sum up. Look, I don't want to warble on when we probably all want to be out grieving and crying in a more well-catered environment. Sarnies, God, he loved a sandwich. Seriously. That's uh, enough. So, I just feel very sad. That's the take-home message which I, I want you all to go away with. I think I got away with that. Yeah. If you've got any complaints, tell them to Gerard. Hi Dobbs, not feeling great, don't trouble yourself, um, I just wanted to say hi, but uh, I guess I'll just say bye.